When you're monitoring and reviewing your project, it is essential to think about the people who have to be involved in those particular uh, uh, meetings, the information that those individuals will need, and the frequency of those meetings. Usually organizations have a, a weekly operational meeting where you would have a regular uh, communication and you have operational data present at those meetings. And again, reviewing of basic information such as your visitors' numbers to your uh, digital profiles. So for example, how many people have been to your website, what is the time length that they have looked at, and what are the pages that they have been looking at. And ultimately, for an e-commerce transactional website, what is it uh, that was purchased and what uh, the revenue from those particular purchases were. Uh, from social media activities, you would be looking at things like uh, how many people have engaged with you in conversations, what are they uh, talking about, is the sentiment of those conversations positive or negative, are there any extraordinary comments or complaints that need to be escalated to a senior level of your organization that might help your product development and services teams and any other information that you might be able to think about future product development. Ultimately, the statistics that you would use during those meetings are very much operational. So on, on the long-term uh, perspective, you as organization have to look at the other competitors and that data could be done at, say, monthly meetings where you'll be able to cross-compare your data with your competitors to see how you're performing. Again, it all depends on the organization and the resources you have available. But bear in mind that there are different reports that you might be able to feed into your meetings and obviously discuss those as a team and learn from them immediately monitor and analyze the activity and then optimize it so, to, so if it's working well invest more time invest more money in it make it work harder and if it isn't working then you can pull it quite quick because you've got that understanding that it isn't working and then you can minimize the cost or any exposure and um, that that's going to have for your business so that's the beauty of digital the beauty of online campaigns that you can test things on a low budget invest in them and go you know as far as you need to uh, to be able to, to make it work? Uh, based on every channel we have some uh, benchmarks. We know that this industry you have to have this amount of CTR or this amount of engagement. So uh, usually we are giving uh, the campaign two or three days in order to see how it, it goes and we are trying to optimize always to be close to uh, the benchmark of the same industry and especially if it's a running business and an ongoing process we know where we already are, so we are trying to uh, have a better uh, result.